Hi Devan. Today's shape we'll be looking at is the square. Here's our square. The square has four sides. One, two, three, four. Each side is straight and they are all the same size. It also has four corners. One, two, three, four. And all four corners are the same as each other also. So I had a little look around my home and found some square objects. I have found a makeup container. See the sides? One, two, three, four. And the corners? One, two, three, four. And the corners and the sides are straight and the same size. Um, I found a little battery power pack and found another little makeup part. And the sides again, small, smaller square. One, two, three, four, and the corners, one, two, three, four. And also found a coaster with a picture of my cat when he was a kitten. And again, four sides, one, two, three, four, and four corners, one, two, three, four, and that makes our square. And one more thing, I, I, I found some lolly sticks. So if you've got objects that are basically straight and they're all the same size and you have four of them, I might use a piece of paper. You can then make your own squares if you like. There we go, so I've got four lolly sticks. And one, two, three, four. And there we go, you can make a square with those. So feel free to have a go at looking for square objects or objects that you can make square shapes from. So today I thought of a little activity to do. I'm going to draw around the objects I've found, then I will cut, cut them out and I'm going to make a picture from the square shapes. So I'll just draw around these. One, two, three, Four. So one square and a smaller square. There we go. Four. And then my coaster. Quite a large square. There we go. And last one. I wonder what is the what square objects you can think of. Um, when someone says what objects are square, I initially think of maybe a tile that you get in your kitchen on the wall or in the bathroom. They're quite square, I think. Or well, most of them are anyway. Okay, so we've got our squares drawn and then we will cut them out. I did cut a couple out earlier, so I just cut, cut one out now. And then I'll use some more that I cut out earlier. And then you can make whatever object, whatever, whatever kind of pitch you'd like. I am going to make a robot with my squares because I think robots can be quite square. So here we go, here's a square. And then we use a nice blue piece of paper and then use our squares. And we'll place them on to make our robot. There we go, give him some little our hands and feet. There we go. So next we'll just use some glue to stick it, stick the squares on. And then we can design them any which way we like. You can decorate yours however you would like. Like I say, you don't have to do a robot, but it'd be great to see any robot designs on tapestry. That would be fantastic. Any colour. You could use like a hole punch. And scissors and glue. We 
go. Is he looking robot shape, robot like yet? There he is. And then I'll just take a pen and give him some robot features. So we'll give him a little control panel with some buttons and maybe a little more controls. And shall we give him some fingers? And then robot face. And a nice smile. Oh, and we'll join up his squares with so his wires can get to where they need to be. There we go, my square robot. So it would be great if we could see your designs and your square shaped ideas on Tapestry. Um, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.